Hi guys, so we're doing a quick video today on a question that I receive um, pretty much on a daily basis. Um, and the question is, how do you pick a field in ultrasound? Um, obviously there's a lot of fields you can choose from and a lot of different programs that are available state by state. For example, some schools offer um, OBGYN in conjunction with abdomen programs. Some school offer general ultrasound. Um, some schools offer cardiovascular ultrasound. Um, and within each field, there's so much that you can do. There's so many possibilities of um, options of places to work and working hours, working pay, and what those different fields entail in terms of daily work life, um, knowledge needed, and just what it requires you to bring to the table as a tech. Um, so how to pick a field. First and foremost, um, you know, you are limited to what courses are available in your location. So if there are courses, let's say only for OBGYN and, or, and vascular, let's say, I would start based on what's available, look up um, job availability for that field. And if let's say one of those fields has a significantly higher job availability than the other, I would go for the one with the higher job availability, of course. Um, also look up the duration and the cost of the program. I know some cardiovascular programs are still two years um, and other programs are four years. Um, also the costs can be a big difference. So find what fits into your budget, into your schedule, and just into your life in general. Um, research what that field entails. For example, so now we're gonna go down into each, um, each field and exactly what you can do in each field. So for example, let's say you, um, there's a, an OBGYN course available in your area and you decide to go for that course. Um, things that you can do with an OBGYN course include, um, you can work, for example, if it brings you joy to help women get pregnant and reproduce, you can work at, in an in vitro or a fertility office where they do in vitro procedures. You'd be doing a ton of um, ovarian scans, of course, um, and looking for follicles, for example, and helping women get pregnant. Um, you can also, I know, obtain a midwife certificate right now if you look on the ARDMS website, um, if that's something you're interested in and that's something that would bring you joy to do on a daily basis, go for it. Um, also, let's say there's an abdomen course available in your area and you're having a tough time whether to choose between that and another course. Um, keep in mind that abdomen, there's so much you can do with it because there's so many different organs in the area. For example, um, if you enjoy scanning, let's say the kidney, you can work in a nephrology office. A common abnormality of the kidney is kidney stones. So you'd scan kidney stones almost probably every day, um, helping the doctor determine if they're there. Um, let's say post procedure, like, you know, the patient had a procedure to you know obliterate the stones. You'd go back in to check if they're still there, if everything's you know, been taken care of and if the patient's okay and whatever the doctor needs you to do, basically. Um, you know, just think that, the, the think about the body systems that work together. You know, kidneys work in conjunction with the bladder because kidneys produce urine and you urinate through your bladder. So you'd probably be doing numerous bladder scans in that practice also. Let's say you're working in a nephrology office. Um, if you're working in a hospital, you usually just get you know, you get a, a mix of different scans. Um, there's no one particular scan. So what I'm talking about is like if you're working in a private office, a nephrologist's office, uh, like a specialty, you're working for a specialty doctor or a specialty office. Um, let's say you wanted to be registered in breast. So you would have to take in con into consideration that, you know, one of the places you can work at is like a hospital, of course, or breast centers. Um, you know, a lot of people, if you've been through anything in your life or, you know, with your family members of breast cancer, or any type of cancer, and it's, you know, you hold that close to your heart and you want to help patients with breast cancer, you might want to go into breast. And, you know, also with these different specialties, you have to think about what kind of procedures are done. So, of course, if you work at a breast center, you're most likely going to deal with a lot of breast cancer patients, and you would be doing um, assisting the doctor with breast biopsies. 
If that's something that you think is really, really cool, would be exciting for you and fulfilling, go for it. Um, if you wanted to get into, let's say, um, vascular, you want to take a vascular course that's available in your area, think about that you'd be working um, like in a vein center and you'd be doing a lot of Dopplers and a lot of um, vascular studies. If veins and vascular if vasculature interest you, go for it. Um, so let's say you've picked, um, you know, you've narrowed down your options in your area, you've decided on one, and let's say you wanted to go for, let's say, OBGYN. All right, now, how do you know you're going to like it? So go online, research the different, um, like, basic medical terminology for OBGYN, um, look up anatomy for OB, see if it piques your interest, what if it just grasps your attention, you know, maybe you find the, the the system of like the ovaries and the uterus and how everything works and it's connected, the fallopian tube, so interesting and it just grabs your attention, go for it. <laughs> um, also look up, let's say you wanted to go for abdomen, start looking up, you know, how, how the kidneys are connected to the bladder, how everything works together, um, look up the different, um, body structures where they're located and just find what grabs your interest and go from there um you know get to know yourself get to know what you like and what you know you would be wanting to do for the rest of your life and look up um just as a review to what we said look up what each specialty um entails what kind of procedures are done within those specialties and what kind of offices you can work in. Because like I said, you can work in a, in a hospital and you'd be doing um, tons of just different studies or let's say, um, uh, what are they called? An imaging office. If you're just working at an imaging office where they do x-rays, ultrasounds, bone densities, for example, you'd be given usually all different types of exams you know, in one day. You'd be doing OB, you'd be doing an abdomen, you'd be doing, you know, a renal here, you'll be doing a Doppler study there. I worked for a mobile company and I did every type of exam. I went to school for general sonography. So I know I can pretty much scan anything in the body except for the heart. Um, that was a separate program and I wasn't really interested in the heart at that time. Um, so yeah, in general, get to know yourself, know what's available in your area, know what jobs are going to be available because you want to, you know, land a job when you graduate and you should be good. Good luck. If you have any questions, you can always DM me.